Hi, my name's Jack Tomlin. I'm 17, go to Onslow College, and I'm a keen car enthusiast. Today, I'm going to find out what it takes to become an automotive technician. And at Porirua's Rutherford and Bond Toyota, Jack will be learning exactly that from automotive technician, Zach Dredge. Hi, I'm Jack. Good day, mate. I'm Zach. Hi. Hey, you want to be an automotive technician? Yeah, I'd love to. It is. So if I could get you to chuck in some overalls, we'll get amongst it. Excellent. Zach then gives Jack a comprehensive health and safety briefing. Just want you to get uh, your head around this. OSH information that we have to uh, obey by in this yep. office place. Before uh, heading into the bad. workshop to start the work. Over there, we'll see. Automotive technician is someone basically who services, repairs, maintains cars. Well, some of the jobs you'd expect as an automotive technician would include uh, plumbing jobs for, say, coolant work, electrical jobs, dealing with computers, fixing circuitry, for different systems in the car. So it encompasses a whole lot of trades, actually. So this is where the magic happens? Yeah, mate. Here at Toyota, we do uh, all sorts from used cars to new cars, old carbureted cars to the new hybrids that you're going to be working on today. Oh, like the Prius? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got a customer out the back who's got a problem with their car. We'll see if we can figure it out. Excellent. Hi, how are you today? Hi, good, thanks. My car seems to be running a little rough. So if you guys could look after that and give it a service as well, that'd be great. Sure, no problems. Have it ready for you in the afternoon. Oh, thank you. As you'll often be dealing with the public, good communication skills are a big advantage for the automotive technician. Often the client is unable to accurately identify the work needing to be done, so the ability to interpret their needs is a must. So what do we do now? Well, customers complained about uh, rough running and the car for its age has done some high case. Initially, Zach suspects the spark plugs might be at fault. Whereabouts are the spark plugs? Well, it's exactly the same as your old engine, essentially, so lift up all the plastic and your spark plugs are still there. Let's get cracking. All right then, stop. This car is a hybrid car which can use either its engine or a battery to power itself. If the battery power is getting low, then the engine takes over and powers the car as well as charging the battery, resulting in high fuel efficiency. This is your hybrid battery. Oh, so this is pretty much like the thing that gives everything its power. This is what makes this car unique from the rest. No other car has its battery except for the hybrids. As an automotive technician, you can expect to work on all sorts of vehicles from the old to the new, like commercial passenger cars, so there's lots of areas to get into. The spark plugs were checked and are OK, so time to investigate further. I, a good plug. I think what we'll do now is we'll check the airflow meter, see okay. if that's playing up or anything like that. So I'll just get you to whip out these two screws and we'll check it out. I, I personally, I love the challenge of solving a problem. Uh, nothing more satisfying than spending a bit of time on, a, on a, something that's giving you a bit of grief and then coming away with a good result. And like getting my you know, hands in there and just getting things done, fixing stuff. Which is Jack's aim for the day, and he's finally making headway in finding a solution. Right, so we should be expecting a 5 volt reference voltage here, which we don't have. So this what we can do is we can give it a little bit of a wiggle. There might not be a correct connection. No, it seems tight in. That would indicate a foggy sensor, so we're going to have to replace it. Righty oh, like, like this? That's the one. Perfect. It was moving that time, eh? Yep. All right, so that indicates a good sensor. We'll chuck it in, and that should fix the problem. Sweet. So with a new sensor fitted, it's problem solved for Toyota's newest assistant. Job well done. All right, we're not over yet. Customer also wants a service and a general checkover, so we'll put her up in the air, and we'll have a look underneath. As cars evolve, so too does the role of the automotive technician. Advanced technology is now commonplace in modern vehicles, and today's technicians must also be able to maintain these systems. A lot of the new technology coming out in later model cars these days, such as lane assist technologies, park assist systems, radar crews, heads up display, and things like that, uh, really require some sort of sound knowledge of automotive uh, electronics as well as mechanics. Blending old and new technology has made the job more diverse and demanding. However, it has also made it simpler. Oh yeah, what's this? It just looks like a, a big iPod touch or something. Yep, that's a big computer that we use to plug into the cars. That reads the computers, picks up any codes that have been logged into the computer. Oh, okay. It's a very see. handy tool for diagnosing yeah. faults. And it doesn't take long for Jack to find another problem. Mass airflow circuit low and intake air temperature circuit high input. Yep. Some of them can be cryptic, so what we really want to focus on are these two numbers here. Oh, right, yeah. We'll copy those two numbers down, and then we'll go to the laptop, we'll type them in, and we'll see what comes up. Now, what it's come up with here, list of the codes and the problems that contribute to them. Lots of helpful hints there sometimes. Yeah. 
down here, and it'll just basically run you through what you need to do to rectify the fault. You see yourself more dealing with computers and electronics these days than you would any other systems of the car. So it sort of helps to have a mindset with, with electrical work as well as mechanical work. Excellent, we're clear. Oh, codes are all cleared, fault fixed. Right, gonna go take it for a spin? Certainly. Give it a road test. So how would you get into the automotive industry? There's a few ways you can do it. You can either go door knocking at a local garage and ask for an apprenticeship there, or you can go to a polytechnic and do a pre-apprenticeship course there. I would recommend possibly even trying out one of the secondary school startup courses, which is run by MITO as well. Oh, OK. And that gives you an idea of what to expect when you leave school and then choose your path. Yeah, like a taster. Yeah, exactly. And if an automotive apprenticeship is the path you choose, then MITO continues its support to help you on the road to becoming a qualified technician through its network of MITO industry training advisors who, with their regular visits, will ease your way to success. But what about Jack? Does Zach think he's got what it takes? It was real good working with Jack. Really want to get amongst it. It's good to see someone with such enthusiasm and initiative. Full his attention to detail was top notch. Uh, he was able to pick up the IT2 tester and pretty much guide himself through it without my help. I'd employ Jack in a heartbeat, yeah, he's, good. he's the sort of guy that I look for in, a, in an apprentice. I can definitely see myself in this job in the future. It's one that really works with my personality, but it also gives me something to, to learn each time as the technology develops and, you know, the challenges, fresh challenges, which I really enjoy. From all my experiences over today, I have learned that this is just the job for me. To become an automotive technician, you will need to complete a national certificate in motor industry, automotive electrical and mechanical engineering with Strand and Light Vehicle. One of the ways you can do this when you are employed is with a MITO apprenticeship. This way you can earn while you learn. At least three years of secondary education with good grades in English and maths is recommended with some knowledge of electronics and mechanics. Secondary students can also take part in MITO's automotive training program called Startup to help kickstart their career. There is also the option of completing a national certificate in motor industry entry skills level 2 with stranded automotive electrical and mechanical before starting your apprenticeship. With technology becoming more prominent, demand for skilled technicians is increasing around the world. You can expand your career opportunities with MITO's Advanced Technician ATEC program or consider business management qualifications. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.